If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In last few lectures, we have just started to analyze the bottlenecks using analysis. And in uh, the recent lecture, we have seen about the hits per second and throughput and how it will be helpful to identify the bottleneck. And as I mentioned in the uh, last lecture, I have executed a simple uh, file download scenario using uh, five virtual users for about uh, two minutes. And I have monitored the performance and here are the results. As you see in the screen, the average hits per second is one. So every second there is a hit to the server to download the PDF file. And total throughput is this many bytes and the average throughput is around 14,000 uh, per second. And you can see the transaction name is uh, 01 underscore download file. And the minimum response time is 0.2, average is 0.3, maximum is 0.7, and 90 percent is 0 0.4, and the pass is 58. So there is no failure and there is no error. Now we shall see how to correlate the hits per second versus throughput by merging those two graphs. Now let us see the hits per second. So as we have seen in the summary report, the average hits per second is one. So similarly, you can see the data points between one and zero. So throughout the execution, you can see the hits of HTTP 200. So the green one is almost one. Now we will see about throughput. Throughput, you can see the average is around 14,000 bytes per second. And at one point of time, between 4.10 to 4.15, it is zero, which means there is no hit. If you just go to the hits per second, here also you can see there is a zero hit. That is why the throughput also is zero. So now let us merge these two graphs into one so that we can understand the relation. Just right click merge graph on any whether hits per second or throughput and select the graph to merge. So in this case, we are going with hits per second and hit OK. Now we have a three dimensional graph, X axis time and bytes per second and also hits per second. Now let us uh, change the display options uh, to 3D and let us put some uh, say 25 percentage and hit close. Now you can see both are getting along with uh, the time. So just to see the trend, what you can do is right click on the graph and click on view measurement trends. Now you can see somewhat clear picture between the hits per second and throughput. So right now we have two different hits. One is HTTP 200 and one is HTTP 307. So we need only 200. So just uncheck this one and see the red and blue ones. So here these two uh, the data points, it will be sync. Basically, when there is a hit, there will be a, a data transfer between the client and server. So similarly, if there are more hits, then there might be more throughput because of the file size. And if it is a typical web application, the similar uh, observation you can see, but the number will vary. Suppose if the uh, if you are downloading one MB file, then this bytes per second will have more numbers. So it will be like thousands bytes per second. If there is a less a file download, then you can you will see less bytes per second. So all you need is you need to see the uh, trend, not the uh, by number. So whether uh, if there is a hit, you should see the appropriate uh, uh, throughput. So again, if you are downloading CSS file, you will see less throughput. If you are downloading a movie, then you will see high throughput. So this is the difference and the relation between hits per second and throughput. So please keep this in mind while doing your bottleneck analysis, which will help you to identify the defects very early. I hope this lecture is pretty useful. So please do subscribe to QA Insights for more such tutorials. Thank you.
If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.